Hi, I'm going to try this one more time. My husband seems to keep calling throughout my takes. Um, and I've got my phone on silent, so I keep looking down and I keep catching it. So maybe I should flip it over so I just have to call him back afterwards. Anyway, hello everybody. Uh, this is Katie, and I am back for my second week post-op update um, from my Ruin Y gastric bypass. Last week, my weigh-in total was 22 pounds lost. Um, that 22 pounds, mind you, was not just from the day of the surgery. That was with my my liquid diet, my 10-day liquid diet, and um, the week after surgery. So that's about almost three weeks, two and a half weeks of weight loss, which is still unbelievably excellent. So, um, let's see. This week, I, I think I might need to be getting a different scale. Um, it teeters. I know that I shouldn't be weighing myself all the time, but, you know, I'm in this moment now where, like, you worry every once in a while if you have to pass gas, and they always tell you after the surgery, if you feel like you've got to, you might want to go to the bathroom because sometimes it's not gas, and usually it's not, so I found out after this that it's usually not. Um, so I've been going to the bathroom quite frequently throughout the day, um, usually about seven or eight times a day I'm in the bathroom, and there's the scale, so you kind of just wonder, you know, how am I doing? So I check my weight way too often. Um, my mother suggested that I put it underneath the bed because I can't really bend over right now because I'm still kind of sore. So it will lessen my chances of reaching under there and pulling it out and weighing myself. So I'm going to do that. Thanks, Mom. Um, so the weight, it literally, like, I would step on it and it would say one weight. And then I would check it and I'd step on it again like two seconds later and it would be like two pounds heavier or lighter. Like, not a, not a tenth of a difference or anything like that. So, I, um, when I checked it last night, because yesterday we did so much walking. I mean, I walked through Kmart, I walked through Sam's Club, I walked through um, Toys R Us, I walked through our entire mall shopping center, which is huge. Um... So I came home knowing that there was going to be a difference on the scale, and there was. It said that I had lost 30 pounds for the total for my second week, so that would have brought me down 8 pounds. Now, when I checked it this morning, it said 28 pounds. And I know I didn't gain weight sleeping. So I would check it again, and, like, literally I checked it not not two hours ago, and it was back down to the 30 pounds. So I'm going to call that one pound a loss and say that I lost 29 pounds total. So that would be um, seven pounds, right? Seven pounds for the week, um, which is still great. Seven pounds in a week, I mean, that's a pound a day. That's wonderful. Thank God. So, um, 25 pounds were, was a milestone to me. Um, I haven't been able to lose 25 pounds on my own. Now I've surpassed that and, you know, it's all, um, downscale from here, I'm hoping. So, that is my update on my weight. It took me four minutes to get that across, sorry. Um... As far as everything else, um, this week I took some time to experiment and see different things that I was able to eat. Um, I don't know if you guys have this local chain, but we have um, Chipotle. And it's huge burritos. I mean, they're gigantic. They probably weigh like two pounds stuffed with goods and big, huge, like foot and a half tortillas that they pack as tight as they can get them. And beforehand, my husband and I could eat there, and I could eat the whole thing. I was big piggy, but then I started eating bowls because, you know, low carb, <laughs> it was still terrible, you know, but it's good organic meat, um, with no hormones and it just is really good food if you eat it properly. So they also have these little tiny tacos and I kid you not, the taco shell itself is like that big 
and inside they probably put about four to five ounces of goods. So I um, had my husband um, get my, my son, because they come in three, the tacos. So my son got two pork tacos, and I got two of the barbacoa, which is a really kind of spicy beef. And I wondered how in the world I was going to be able to kill that spice, because you can't drink with your meals. So I um, had him get a saucer of, or a little condiment cup of guacamole. And guacamole is really good in your fatty acids, So, but you gotta, you got to be careful because it's very fattening too. So I had him get me one taco, and I picked. I had him put cheese and rice on it. The, uh, the cheese is good for the calcium. I hadn't had cheese yet, so I was really kind of nervous. And I had him get the beans. Excuse me, there's those bubbles. Um, because the beans are good for the protein as well. And I'm trying to get as much natural protein in as possible because I'm having a lot of trouble getting down the shakes because they're so sweet and I'm really against sweet right now for some reason. It's just too intense. So um, my doctor says I'm doing a great job of getting natural protein down. Um, so this is what I bought. These cups are two and a half ounces and you can get them at Walmart and they come in a stack of four and they're like 94 cents. So you get four little um, serving cups. And when I go to a restaurant, um, like we went to um, Frisch's and I got their vegetable soup, I had them bring me out one of these cups and I just filled it with the soup and that's all I ate because that way I don't have to guess. I don't have to wonder if I'm eating the right amounts or not. So um, I had my husband bring me home the barbacoa uh, uh, taco and I just scooped out what I wanted into here and I didn't take it all the way because it's two and a half ounces I'm supposed to be doing two ounces this week um, and next week so I did that and I took it very slowly very slowly and every time I would take a bite it was very spicy because you know I haven't had any type of flavor so I took one little bite and then I would literally dip my fork just dip it into the guacamole and whatever was residual left on the fork that's what would do it and it immediately neutralized the the spiciness of the taco and it was delicious because I love guacamole and it was um, very pleasing and I worried about it settling because I don't want to get the poops worse and it was wonderful um, and I didn't eat the whole two ounces um, I just ate um, until I felt full and it was so satisfying good red meat which not a lot of people can process red meat right at the beginning so I feel happy about that um, and then as far as everything else, I mean, the beans were really good for me, nice protein. And the cheese, there wasn't a whole lot of cheese on there. I'm talking maybe like five or six shredded pieces of cheese. So um, it was a great meal, and it allowed my husband to be able to eat where he wanted to eat. And the baby still enjoyed his pork tacos, so it was really good. And that was something that I could handle. Um... Let's see, usually when we eat out, I'm not trying to eat out too much, but it's nice to investigate places where we go. I just basically treat my stomach like it's a newborn baby's. And since I've had a child within the past three years, I very fondly remember the puking stage. And I remember that we had to introduce everything, one food at a time because we never knew how exactly he was going to react to it. Like the incident with the raisins. For some reason they just didn't digest and they came out whole one way or another. <laughs> um, anyway, so I have just treated my pouch like a brand new baby's stomach and I only put in what a brand new baby would be able to eat which is a couple ounces at a time and I just treat it that way and so far so good I have not had any dumping I've not had any sickness I've not even had any upset stomach so I'm really proud of that um, I want to give a shout out before this is too far my friend Amanda you know who you are I know that she is doing wonderful with her gastric bypass she had five days prior to mine and we are just a great support system so please if any of you need someone to talk to give me or her a chat she's on my channel you can see where she's at um, it's wonderful to have people to talk to that are in the same position so keep your chin up I'll talk to you guys soon and have a great week